All right, welcome to Sally. the straight red car. Did you say something? I said thanks, Sally. Oh, you... I, I gave, I gave uh, Zoom a name, Sally. Yeah, <laughs> first thing like that it. popped in my mind. You know, it's I was it's view is being recorded. I'm like, thanks. I would like to meet more girls named Sally. Don't girls named Sally sound like fun? Maybe. Yeah, I mean, I don't hear. I, it's not a very common name nowadays. It isn't. But I met a few Sallys because I'm old. Back in the day, they were always the most fun person in the room. I mean, yeah. I, I feel. I feel. I feel like uh, Charlie Brown may have squashed that for everybody. Oh, yeah, maybe. Possible. Yeah, it's possible. Very but, needy. Very needy sister to Charlie. Come on. Nobody, God, wants, nobody wants that. It's crazy. I, I, the amount of people will probably know what you're talking about. <laughs> Holy, pretty small. I, I had to do a quick Google search just to verify because I was gonna make the reference, but I was like, I'm not 100 percent positive. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Now I'm gonna make the reference. <laughs> Is Charlie Brown uh, a peanut still in the newspapers? I haven't read a newspaper for a while. <clears throat> Fuck if I know. Last time uh, I looked, they were, but I don't think it was anything new. It's sort of like syndication for like TV shows, if you will, at this point. Yeah, must be. Um, okay, so we got a bunch of other players. We covered Hoppy in the last... Well, did we really cover Hoppy? We covered Hoppy for half of that last show. <laughs> the rest show, of the though. show, we bullshitted about some asswipe named Jim Conway. <laughs> Poor Jimmy. <laughs> so today, on this segment, we're going to cover... The rest of the guys, and by the time this comes out, some of these guys might have a team. I don't know. I mean, they might. They might not. So Matt Miaska still does not have a team. And the thing about what I'm reading is there's not a whole lot of offers for Matt Miaska. I hope I'm wrong, but I think maybe his reputation is caught up to him, Brett. I don't know. He had, he had a he had, well, the head offer with uh, his previous club. Was it Andrew Lick? Andrew Lech? Uh, but uh, Chelsea said, nah, brah, that's not what we need. We need more monies. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, I mean, that's, that's on Chelsea there. Um, but I thought he was getting interest from, like, Spain or Turkey. Or he was. He, like that. That's what the rumors were. But they've really been kind of, like, not much. There's not much coming mm. out there. So I hope he finds a team. He's not playing for Chelsea. Anytime soon, so he needs to find a fucking club. What a horrible year! What a horrible year to waste. <laughs> I mean, it's a World Cup qualifying year, and we're sitting here going like, Jesus Christ! I hope he finds a team he can fucking play for. Otherwise, yeah. he's going to be not making game day squad for Chelsea and wasting a year until he's yes. off his contract. His agent needs to get on this shit because the window's closing soon. So, yeah, he needs to have a, a team to play for very soon. Mm. And I know Chelsea are asking a lot of money for him. But, you know, as the window is starting to close, maybe Chelsea would be like, well, shit, we thought we'd have more offers. And so now we're just going to go with the best deal we can find. Uh, maybe they should have taken the Anerlec deal. Yeah. But, knock, yeah. knock, knock. You guys still want him, please? Yeah, we were just kidding. <laughs> I know we said eight million, but we're willing to do four. Kidding, just kidding. Yeah, we're willing to go down where you were. Um, Palmer Brown's kind of in the same situation with Man City. I feel like everybody we're going to talk about is going to be in the same situation here. You're right. CCV, same mm-hmm. situation. Um, you know, people are saying Bournemouth really want him, and I think that Tottenham's number. For CCB is really high for a buy, and so mm-hmm. most of the teams that want him are like, "Well, no, that's that's pre-COVID numbers. We're gonna wait. We're just yeah. gonna sit here and let you roast on that for a while. And the last few days of the transfer window, we're gonna make offers for CCB and Palmer Brown and Miazga. Well, and, we're and, gonna wait. Yeah, and to Pete and to Pete's point, he brought up CCB as well. Uh, to Pete's point. He's already shown that he can compete at the championship level. 
uh, and he needs he needs to challenge himself if he wants to continue to push himself for a national team spot. Um, problem is, it's not really in his is uh, you know he's not the one in control of, of his situation. So if there aren't any higher up spots in Bournemouth that's going to be uh, you know challenging him at this point, you know maybe champions league is, or championship is just where he's going to be at for the time being. Yeah. Um, and right now yeah, it'd, be, just not... it'd be great if he was competing at a low level EPL at this point, just to challenge himself. But if that low level EPL is not there ready to pay, you know, why, what's Tottenham going to say? Like, Oh, whatever. I mean, eventually Tottenham are going to have to either, either loan him again but they really want to sell him and they're really having a hard time. Um, I mean, in the- they've got to be in the same situation that Chelsea's at this point. Cause I mean, you brought this up a number of times cause we br- we've talked about this a number of times, right? But I mean, you don't want to necessarily, I mean, Chelsea doesn't want to uh, undersell Miazga cause it's going to undervalue the rest of their 100 plus players. They have loaned <laughs> out. <laughs> right. Maybe, maybe Tottenham doesn't have that many players. Yeah, they don't. Yet. No. But to that yeah. point, you know, you never know. You know, <laughs> they don't have the same sort of in- inventory yeah. um, that Chelsea has. Chelsea has an inventory, and they, you know, they don't want to sell or loan their players at cheap prices because it'll bring down the price of all the other ones. And so they're playing hardball, but the clock is ticking, mm. and. Miazga needs a new team, as does Palmer Brown, as does CCB, as does, well, you know, Reggie Cannon needs one more than anybody else because Bo Vis has already pretty much said, we don't want him. Dude, they they, they, they denied uh, offers for him, and then now they're coming out saying like, yeah, bro, you can leave on your own. What, yeah. What, was that, what is that all about? What, what, well, bad, what bad planning from the front office is happening there? Seriously, I, come on. As I understand it, Boa Vista are under a transfer ban for mm. reasons that I don't understand. I think they're financial. Uh, there's some sort of mishappenings going on financially with mm-hmm. the past owner. Mm. Um, and so that's all being worked out. And so Reggie Cannon's really trapped in a sort of Hamlet like uh, purgatory. Rock really. in a hard place. Yeah, rock and hard. Well, that's more, I think, language people will understand. <laughs> less, <laughs> less, less Hamlet style. More, less uh, Hamlet, more Derek. American. It's American. Less Hamlet. More ham. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. I'll try to do less Hamlet, more, less Shakespeare. Yes. And, um, Okay, so Cannon's in a between a rock and hard place, but so is uh, no one else that I'm going to talk about because Moore, I thought, made an amazing case for himself mm-hmm. in the Gold Cup, and yet he's, you know, he's still stuck at Tenerife, and they seem to want to keep him. He was only in the 18 for Tenerife this weekend, so that like raised my eyebrows. I'm like, are they giving me a rest? Are they? thinking about selling him so they're keeping him safe from injury what's going on but there that's, that's going around i mean that's the same topic that's happening in mls at this point with uh with the costa and williamson you have players yeah. that aren't aren't on the 18 mm-hmm. that were in the gold cup now whether or not they're they're garnering interest i don't know or if, i don't or if they're yeah. just giving them rest i mean i can't imagine colorado relying on their plethora of 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 backup options to Acosta. Yeah. <laughs> that he would either. not be playing. Portland, you could make the argument for, but uh, but still, they're back. You, you play them I mean, at that point. So, and, yeah, a my, lot of people are suspecting, you know? Yeah, my theory is that their agents have made it very clear to the teams. They want to explore um, this window for a transfer. Um, and so... When that becomes the case, a lot of teams, unless you're Werder Bremen playing some meaningless fucking pokal game and you want Sargent to play it, you're going to fucking publicly embarrass him for not playing it. 
I'm not a ridiculous bunch of fucking amateurs, amateur hour at Werder Bremen. That explains in one sentence why Werder Bremen is where they are now. Mm-hmm. Those morons running the club. Um, well, so I mean, the and, that's, and, that's, and that argument, though. Yeah, well, let's just say that Sargent played for them. Okay, after that game, what are they going to do? Done. Yeah, he's he's yeah. not going to be there for the rest of the bulk games. Just... <sighs> What was what the a, general what a dumb manager. bit of drama to have to deal with? The quote from the general manager, oh, you know, Josh promised us that he would play, and then he didn't play in this you, you really did. important Copa, Copa game, focal game. Fuck you, you cocksucker. That's Derek, not how this works. Derek, you're leaving off a lot of oons in there, you know. He said, <laughs> he's, he's oon not playing for us, you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I don't know if that's a German thing, but that's, all right. Totally, totes got to be a German thing. <laughs> stereotypically speaking at least now i think that they were just being <laughs> bitches and um you know that's not really a german thing to do honestly Being germans don't like give out information that's not <laughs> unnecessary to give out and that was like way too much information about josh Sargent promising to play a cup game that he then didn't want to play because he's about to go to norwich so fuck off Werder <sighs> bremen that's why you're going to be in three Bundesliga next season, you fucking pricks. All right. Um, outside of that, um, you know, more is probably not going to go anywhere because I think Tenerife actually have some ideas about, you know, moving up this season. So why would they get rid of them unless they got a really good offer? I mean, and yeah, I, yeah. yeah. If, if they feel like they're going to, if they feel like they're going to compete to move forward, then Yes. If they don't, if they feel like that uh, moving forward is not an option, they should absolutely pick up the, the the best the best offer. But if they think they can get up into a Liga, sure, fuck it. Yeah. I mean, why would oh. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you keep him? I mean, he's 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 he's, a, he's an offensive option, and he's a solid one v one defender. I mean, that's what you need as a right back. <laughs> and he's better than Reggie Cannon, honestly. For mm-hmm. me, yeah. For me, for my money, I'm I'm what? going with. Fuck, I've been I've been saying this for all of the Gold Cup. I'm like, yeah, I would absolutely start him over Canada at this point. I, you yeah, know, I I could you can even make the argument to say start him over Yedlin. When we talked about Yedlin having such a great uh, uh, handful of minutes against uh, Mexico and whatnot in the nations, right? Team. Right. But quite frankly, I mean, again, we saw more of more, of course. Right. That, that definitely helps when making a case for somebody, but more was consistent throughout the tournament. He was. And, and actually, before we end the segment, I should say that um, we actually, I actually failed to mention two players on a prior list. So I'm going to mm-hmm. report them now uh, from the last weekend. And that is Sam Vines was in the 18 for Antwerp, but didn't play. Mm-hmm. And for and Balogun got the start for Arsenal and played 60 in an ass beating where they got trounced uh, by Brentford. I can't even remember. Barnes, Barnes. I can't remember who it was. They lost their opening game of the season. Um, so he said he didn't look good. <laughs> he did not look good. Not no, look but good. it's not all his fault. It's not all his fault. Um, he didn't look good because Arsenal looked bad. It's one of those things like the whole team sucked. And so, yeah, he gets – it's the fart in the uh, grocery store aisle thing that we talked about before. <laughs> you know, it's that guy who farts in the aisle, then leaves the aisle, and then you're in the aisle, and it stinks. I and swear it wasn't me. Then everybody else shows up in the aisle, and they're like, oh, man, that guy down the aisle, he must have let one rip. It was him over just, there. Because we just got here, and we know it's not us. <laughs> so it must have been him. And you're like, no, the guy who did it just left. So, yes, a stench on a team st- stinks up everybody. And that's what happened to Fallor and Balogun. I hope he gets another shot. And um, I hope he's still on our radar. I, knowing Greg, he is on our radar. So sure. uh, I couldn't I couldn't fathom him not being on our radar. But, I, again, hopefully he gets another play. You know? I mean, it's crazy. He's like this teenage kid who's starting yeah. at center forward for – Arsenal, for Arsenal. Um, you know, so he, yeah, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta keep an eye on him. All right, 
All right. Until the next time on the Straight Red Card, we're going to come back with a question you presented uh, to us, and question. then we're going to be done with all these segments. This is segment four, I think. Uh, last time we did this? seven segments, Brett. We must be fucking insane. We must be stupid. Just dumb people. To be Eric, <laughs> I've always said we're idiots with microphones. We're two idiots <laughs> with microphones. That's that's like our catchphrase. Of course, we're idiots. Two DJs and well, no, it's two and MCs microphone. and a microphone. Bottles and cans, just clap your hands. <laughs> oh man, I wish we could play Beastie Boy music as our opener. Oh, sorry, I was going for more Beck there. Oh, you did do Beck. I went Toad Bat there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did, but that was Beck's little hip hop era thing, yeah. you know. Yeah, that was great. Those were great times. God Toads. damn. It. All right, toast to all of you. Thank you for supporting us. Keep subscribing. Keep liking. Keep uh, no, yeah, do all that. Do it but all. yeah, share us wherever you know porn sites. You know, you never know who. We it's keep bringing be... up the porn sites, so clearly we're on. We're on them. We're there. We must be. I haven't checked, but we probably are on a couple porn sites by we, now. We do a lot of. We do a lot of like over like a. Uh... Our audio, our audio goes over to the porn itself. <laughs> so just you know, it's, it's there. Speaking of that, why don't you fade this one out as I go? Book it, go, book it, go.